Do you know who holds the longest driver winning streak in Formula 1? Let's take a closer look at the top 10. Max Verstappen recently etched his name in history with a Hungarian GP victory, followed by a clear triumph in Spa and a record-setting win at Monza. While Lewis Hamilton's 103 victory stands as the most by a single driver, Verstappen is chasing his own remarkable record. Now, let's delve into the four-win club. Surprisingly absent from this exclusive group are legends like Ayrton Senna, Alain Prost and Fernando Alonso, each boasting impressive careers. And what a lineup that would be. Other members include Jim Clark, Jochen Ryan, Damon Hill, and Jensen Button. Even notable champions like Juan Manuel Fangio, Jackie Stewart, and Nicky Lauda fell short, never clinching more than three consecutive wins. Times may have changed, but the pursuit of greatness in Formula One remains timeless. In at number 10, Lewis Hamilton at Mercedes, five wins. The seven-time world champ has won more Grand Prix than anyone else, currently 103. So it's a little surprising that he's never put together a longer streak than five consecutive wins. He certainly had the machinery to do so. Anyway, five on the bounce is something Hamilton has achieved twice. First in 2014, when wins in Italy, Singapore, Japan, Russia, and the USA turned the tide in his title fight with Nico Rosberg that year. And again in 2020, when he took the chequered flag in Germany, Portugal, Imola, Turkey, where he sealed number seven, and Bahrain. That last streak ended when Hamilton contracted COVID-19, which ruled him out of the Sakir Grand Prix. Four in a row is something he's achieved on five separate occasions, once in 2014, twice in 2016, and once apiece in 2018 and 2019. Hashtag blessed. Number nine, Nigel Mansell at Williams, five wins. For so long, the nearly man, Nigel Mansell finally found himself in a car befitting of his talent in 1992 when a certain Adrian Newey penned the Williams FW14B. Developed from the previous season's design, it quickly became obvious that it was a class above the rest as Mansell took five straight poles and victories from the get-go. That run encompassed wins in South Africa, Mexico, Brazil, Spain and Imola, and although Mansell was on pole again for the sixth race in Monaco, ultimately he was pipped to the line by Ayrton Senna after suffering a loose wheel nut while leading with eight laps to go. Who remembers that iconic chase where the Brit was all over the back of the Brazilian for the last couple of the laps? A trio of wins followed the DNF in the Canadian Grand Prix. He was crowned world champion in Hungary. Moving on to number eight, Jim Clark, five wins. It's also worth noting that the 65 season also saw Clark win five Grand Prix in a row. When he returned to Formula One for the Belgian Grand Prix, he began a winning streak that would allow him to win that and four other events. Of his wins, France and Germany gave him two more Grand Chelems. These would be the last of his career, but would allow him to surpass Alberto Ascari's Grand Chelem record by three. Because of his massive winning streak, Clark was able to take home the championship by 14 points. This was the second world champion win of his career, but would also be the last. Number seven, Jack Brabham, Cooper, five wins. Since Ascari, no one has racked up five wins on the bounce in F1 until Jack Brabham ignited the afterburners in 1960. The Aussie season hadn't got off to the best start with a DNF in Argentina and a disqualification in Monaco after being deemed to have had outside assistance following a gearbox problem. That needs more explanation. But he put all of that behind him at the Dutch Grand Prix, sticking his Cooper Climax on the front row before prevailing with a handsome 24 second lead come the chequered flag. Three pole positions and three dominant victories followed with wins in number five in Portugal, where Brabham once again trounced the opposition. Only teammate Bruce McLaren finished within a minute of the soon-to-be double world champion. That's quite impressive. Number six, Max Verstappen, seven victories. Japan 23 to Abu Dhabi 23. Not his first appearance on this list and loads of other lists, and remarkably not even his only streak of the season. Max Verstappen compiled a seven race winning streak to end his third title winning season in 2023. He won 19 of 22 races in 23, and without an off weekend with a P5 finish in Singapore, this record would stand at the end of 2020 as an 18 race winning streak. Alas, Verstappen has to settle for two streaks of 10 and 7 as of the end of the 2023 campaign to cack off quite a remarkable year. In fact, a remarkable year, the likes of which we may never see again. We are halfway there, ready to tackle number five. Nico Rosberg, seven victories, Mexico 15 to Russia 16. 
Not unlike Verstappen's current run, Rosberg stretched over two seasons. Having gone eight races without a win in 2015 and conceding the advantage to Lewis Hamilton in the title battle, the German was successful in the last three Grand Prix of the season. When Lewis Hamilton was crowned world champion for a third time at the USA Grand Prix in 2015, he absentmindedly tossed the second place cap to his rather dejected teammate in the cooldown room. Rosberg did not appreciate this. When the new campaign got underway in 2016, the German driver hit the ground running, adding another four Grand Prix victories to his name in an unbeaten run that lasted seven long months. It gave him the platform to take the title that year too before he performed the ultimate mic drop by retiring as world champion. You can't do better than that. Number four, Michael Schumacher, seven victories, Europe 04 to Hungary 04. Has anyone ever dominated a season quite like Michael Schumacher? In the modern era, surely only Verstappen even comes slightly close. Michael Schumacher equaled the then record with his own run of seven victories on the trot. While his years at Benetton had been the making of Schumacher, it was the Ferrari period that would come to define the legendary figure and 2004 was Schumacher at the peak of his powers. Such was his dominance that he started the season with five consecutive victories before being beaten by a surprise Jarno Trulli success in Monaco. But it was the middle portion of the season when Schumacher fully stamped his authority. Starting with the European Grand Prix in his home country at the Nürburgring, Schumacher would finish first in the next seven races. His seventh straight victory in Hungary made it 12 out of 13 wins for the season, and by the end of August, he'd been crowned world champion. That's not the earliest he'd sealed the world title, however. That happened two years beforehand when he landed the driver's crown with six races to spare. After that run was stopped by Kimi Raikkonen, Schumacher would win one more race that year and break the then record for the most victories in a single season in what was his last title winning campaign. All right, are you ready for the top three? Okay, here we go. In at number three, Alberto Ascari, seven victories, Belgium 52 to Argentina 53. The Italian legend won more than 40% of all F1 races he ever entered, so it's little surprise that he managed to stitch together seven straight wins during his career that was tragically cut short when he died at Monza in 55. Even though he does not top this list, this achievement by Alberto Ascari is perhaps the most impressive of all. Ascari has a place in Formula One history, but particularly in Ferrari's story. He was the team's first driver's champion and remains to this day the last Italian world champion. It would take until Schumacher for another Ferrari driver to win back-to-back -back titles, but what is most impressive about Ascari is he did this during a time of great unreliability. When F1 cars these days can have their own problems, in the 1950s it was a different story altogether. In his first ever race, Ascari won just seven finishes out of a field of 54 entries, and in his first race of the run in the 1952 Belgian Grand Prix, five of the seven retirements were due to mechanical problems. But still, Ascari guides his Ferrari 500 to seven consecutive wins, not only giving him the then record of most consecutive victories, but also the driver crown and a win percentage of 75%. The run of consecutive victories gave Ascari the first of two title wins and kick-started the second. It would take 51 years for another driver to match that feat. All right, number two, Sebastian Vettel. Nine victories, Belgium 13 to Brazil 13. Picture the scene. Lewis Hamilton has just won 2013 Hungarian Grand Prix for Mercedes and vows to attack the second half of the season with everything he's got in an unlikely bid to win the championship and reel in Sebastian Vettel, sitting atop the standings with a healthy margin over Kimi Raikkonen, Fernando Alonso and Hamilton. None of them got a sniff. Vettel returned after the summer break and smashed the opposition, winning every race from the Belgian to Brazilian Grand Prix in his RB9 that moved into another realm. The end of that run marked his final victory for Red Bull and the end of an era that brought him four straight world titles. As is often the case with any Formula 1 record concerned with consistent dominance, it is the name of Sebastian Vettel at the very top. Just as Schumacher was with Ferrari, Vettel in the Red Bull of the early 2010s was an unstoppable force. His first title win in 2010 and the season by 2013, he was already joint fourth most successful driver in history. His first title win came in 2010 season and by 2013 he was already the joint fourth most successful driver in history. 
In 2013, he enjoyed a season much like Schumacher's 2004 run. Having been victorious in four of the opening 10 events, Vettel took control of the title race at Spa when he won for the first of nine consecutive races. By the end of the year, he had a 155 point lead over P2 Fernando Alonso, which also remains the biggest title winning margin until it was broken by Verstappen this year. As was always the case with Schumacher, the season in which this run occurred would be Vettel's last in an engine that would be able to give him a title winning car. And finally, number one, perhaps you already know who that is, Max Verstappen. 10 victories, Miami 23 to Monza 23. Verstappen extended his winning run to 10 victories with one of his more harder fought wins at the Italian Grand Prix, setting a new record for the most consecutive wins in F1 history. Verstappen's run began in Miami when he passed teammate Sergio Perez and started what would go on to be a run of 248 consecutive laps led by the Dutchman. That streak was eventually broken by Charles Leclerc in Austria, 57 laps short of the all-time tally, but one record that is now there for the ages is a perfect 10 victories. Since victory in the US, Verstappen has produced a dominant run of performances that has not only seen him take home every winner's trophy, but has also made a third consecutive world championship a certainty. His run finally came to an end in Singapore when Red Bull suffered an off-colour weekend at the Marina Bay, Verstappen only managing 6th place in an unexpected Q2 exit, but that would be a perfect 10 run that may never be broken again. And so the top 10 winning streak in Formula 1 looks like this. In joint 8th to 10th, depending on your perspective, on 5 consecutive victories are Brabham, Clark, Hamilton twice, Mansell, Schumacher and Verstappen. However, on laps led during that streak, Clark comes out on top with 152, followed by Mansell on 141, and Brabham with 114. In seventh with six consecutive victories is Michael Schumacher in 2001, having led for 67 laps. Next is third through sixth, featuring Ascari 53, Rosberg 16, Schumacher 01, and Verstappen 2023. However, Alberto Ascari led 305 laps, so takes third on the list, followed by Rosberg 107 and Verstappen on 96. Though this streak is currently still ongoing, heading into 2024, and Schumacher had 86. Second is Sebastian Vettel, with nine consecutive victories and leading 148 laps. And top of the list, Max Verstappen for the third time on this list, with 10 wins in a row and 248 laps led. Which streak is your favourite? Will Verstappen's streak be beaten? Will any other drivers put streaks together in the coming seasons? Let us know what you think in the comments and remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Keep the pedal to the metal and I'll catch you in the next video.